What's up, YouTube? And welcome back to another review here at Thomas Open, where we're going for some UK craft beer, uh, courtesy of my buddy Harry over at Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Uh, go check out his channel. There'll be a link in the description box below. Harry sent me some beers uh, about a week or two ago. Uh, came in thanks to my other buddy, Jim, over at Rampant Lion Beer Reviews. Go Google him. I might actually drop a link to his channel as well. Uh, there's a funny story behind all that, but I explained that in the unpacking video, uh, the unpacking live stream. But um, the thing is, Harry sent me over quite a few of awesome beers, including a few beers uh, of the brewery he works at. Uh, one of them being, so this is from Ramsbury. Ramsbury uh, Brewery from the, let's see, where is it? Uh, Outborn Marlborough, Stock Close Farm, Outborn Marlborough. There you go. Brewing and Distilling Company. It is their uh, bitter. It is their best bitter. 3.6% ABV. Uh, description on the, uh, the bottle is uh, a classic medium bodied beer, smooth with a delicate rounded flavor of dried fruit and malted barley. Simply put, Farmers is the, per oh yeah, it's called Farmers Best, sorry, is the perfect session ale. And what's even better is that it's brewed substantially, sustainably with barley grown right here on the estate. So that's pretty cool. We're talking about 500 milliliters, uh, just in a pint. Uh, so yeah, this is the brewery where uh, that Harry works for, and he sent me over a few of their beers. So that's always freaking awesome. Um, and Harry's an awesome dude. Fancy bum. He's my sexy little mate. So sexy. Uh, let's see what we've got here. I like a good low ABV beer. I love a good bitter. And this one already has a color. The lovely thing here is that yeah, it does actually pour um, thicker. <laughs> as silly as that may sound. Um, more well-bodied than you would expect from a three-point session, a 3.6% ABV. We're rocking a little bit of glassware here, so. What we have here is a lovely amber honey-colored, like deep golden straw almost, with a tiny, thin, just off-white head, clear as clear can be. Uh, a bitter is, a, uh, is, is part of the pale ale family, usually. Um, uh, I think the term bitter comes from like the 19th century and during the 20th century basically was one of the most predominant, uh, in the early 20th century, one of the most predominant styles of beer drank in the UK and pubs and whatever. Well, let's just go to the nose and see what this does. Hmm? That's crisp as fuck. That has a lovely crispy floral, multi, honey, slightly spicy, slightly lemony, hoppy, thirst quenching nose to it. I know it's under the pale ale family, like a bit nagano, but this almost has like a a lager crispness to it. Yeah, there's definitely lovely little caramel honey multi tones, like bready biscuity. Mmm. And that smells lovely. That smells actually very, very, very perfect. Oh, I could smell that all day. This 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 already comes across as like one of those uh, early autumn beers. Like the color invites you to like to want to drink this during the autumn. It has this this lovely, like I told you, this 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 amber honey color to it. it kind of reminds you of the autumn. But when it's those autumn days where it's like 17, 18 degrees, like an Indian summer, um, early or late Indian summer, whatever you want to call it, where it's that temperature where you can still sit outside. Maybe you want to wear like a thinner sweater, but not a t-shirt anymore, but you can still sit outside, enjoy the sun. And you want something that is both refreshing and thirsty, thirst quenching, but also you want that, that thing that starts to remind you of, you know, the, the, the beers you like to enjoy during the winter, the very multi beers. And that's definitely what's going on here. There's a soft dried fruit component there, somewhere in the background. I'm digging it. We got to, we got to dive in. Thanks, Harry. Cheers, buddy. There's again that very floral, slightly sulfury in a good way. Again, this isn't a lager, right? A bitter is a pale ale. This really reminds me of a lager. Kenneth Halley Water, barley malt, wheat, uh, barley malt, wheat malt, hops, and yeast. I like this. I love it. Again, that brisky bay, it's it has a very crushable bitter finish like this is exactly what i love in in, in a style like this it has that hoppy bitterness but like the bittering hops not so much the the, the aroma hops 
I am really digging this. That sort of, in a way, it almost reminds me of a Madsen, like that that roasty, toasty, roasted bread component with that soft sweet of the, the sweet honey over it, and the bread is still kind of warm. That sort of effect. Again, with the floral notes, a little bit of lemony. Oh. Like I wish I had like I, I I wish I had a crate of this um, on standby for live streams where you could just they're three point six percent so you could crush five of these during like one of those three hour four hour live streams and still feel pretty good afterwards with that three point six percent ABV this is so crushable this is, this will probably be gone in twenty minutes this bottle well, that's perfect it's the perfect pub beer really where you would just want to crush it and keep drinking it when you're out there with your mates. Mm. I love this, Harry. Well done. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. I love it, and I I am very grateful that you sent me this, especially because this is something that you're, you're a part of, uh, and you know I, I always love everything that you're a part of. Oh, I need you to be a part of me. You know that, right? I love you, brother. Thank you for sending me this over. I'm really going to enjoy the rest of this, and I'm very curious. This is the first of the beers. Um from Ramsbury that I'm trying, and I'm very curious about the rest of them. So again, thank you very much. Um, don't forget to uh, check the description box below for the link to Harry's channel. Go over there, subscribe. If you like the video, click like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. And the description box below, you'll also find links to all of my social media. Don't forget to check out that in the Dutch Beer Collective, mysterybeer.nl, and I'll see all of you guys in another review soon. Cheers.